Hi, I'm Jerry Gibbs, and today I'd like to introduce you to this range of dehumidifiers from Ecor Pro. Desiccant dehumidifiers are fundamentally different from refrigerant dehumidifiers. Refrigerant converts the moisture in the air into a liquid where it can be pumped or dropped into a bucket or container or drain. But a desiccant dehumidifier doesn't do that. It's producing its humidity through a humid air outlet. And for some people, this causes a little bit of a problem. So it's only fair that we should discuss it. People ask, where do we exhaust this humidity air outlet? Well, the most simplest solution is to open a window and poke it out of the window. If we haven't got a window, we could poke it out through the cap flap in the door. We could poke it out through the letterbox. There's numerous opportunities to do this. And ideally, it wants to ventilate to outside, external, but if necessary, we can, invent, we can ventilate it into a well-ventilated space, a large, a large volume room that can cope with the excess moisture that we're going to add to it. The length of this pipe is actually quite critical too. These machines come with a standard length, depending upon the capacity of the machine. And if we exceed that length, it significantly impacts on the performance of the machine. If the pipe is made too long, the, the resistance of the air traveling through the pipe slows the air down and the machine starts to uh, lose its performance. If we must extend the pipe, it would be more logical to extend the pipe with a solid pipe because that has got less resistance. If we're unable to do that, we could extend the pipe with a larger diameter pipe because that decreases the resistance inside the pipe. How we ventilate this pipe and how we position it is also quite critical. We'd really like it, it to run almost horizontally. But if we have to run vertically, we need to understand that condensation could gather and run down the pipe. The humid air outlet in here is going to generate condensation because the humidity here probably has a dew point of around about 25 to 30 degrees. So any temperature below that, condensation could form and moisture could run down the inside of the tube. A couple of ways that we can uh, resolve that is to make sure the air temperature around this exhaust tube is always warm above the tube point. If we can't do that, we would need to insulate the tube. If the tube was rising vertically and condensate started to gather in it, we would need to prevent it from going into the machine and extract it from the pipe with some sort of condensate trap device. If we can't extend the exhaust, exhaust or flue any further, one of the better solutions would be to duct the air from the machine further and make this pipe short. Because this is a critical part, we don't wanna make this any longer, the dry air outlet from the machine can be as, almost as long as it likes. Thank you for watching this video. For further information, please see one of the many tutorials that are available online.